Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Wheelie and welcome back to another video. Now today, we are going to brutally rank the Arsenal players. We have here the tier list. We've got sell at any price, sell, loan, one more season, keep and keep at any cost. Now this is going to get controversial, I think, because, well, last time I've done a tier list and it was Eminem albums, it was uh, controversial with a different couple of comments. So I think this one's going to be controversial as well. We are going to exclude this bottom tier because these are the more the youngsters that you don't really see, to be honest. Um, so we are going to just skip these bottom lot. Um, but for now, but for now, we're going to start with David Raya. Now, here is going to be keep at any cost. Now, what I mean by that, maybe just keep. Actually, I'm going to go just keep. Um... Because he had been outstanding this season. He's been one of the guys that has actually saved us. Literally saved us. Um, and it was online for Brentford. Hopefully we've actually made it permanent now. For 20 million. Or 25 million. Which to be honest is a steal for him. So I'm taking that as a keep. Ramsdale. Uh, it's going to be one more season. It's going to be one more season. I like Ramsdale. Yes, he cost us, what was it, 30 million. But I do like him. I do like him. And he's probably good to have around the um, around the dressing room as well. And it's just like... he He's a decent keeper. He just had a few wobblies that then cost us. But... Is he going to be a backup? I don't think he's going to be want to be a backup, is he? He's going to want to play. He's going to want to be there. Um, but I just can't see him getting in front of Raya. If we keep Raya. Obviously, if we don't keep Raya, then Ramsdale's in keep. So, but for now, one more season. Tomiyasu, keep. He's versatile. He can play anywhere around the back ball. He bombs up as well. He's just what we need. Now, Zinni. Zinni. He's been, at the start of the season, he was great. Right, start of the season he was great and he was getting into that pocket where Man City used him like in the central midfielder. But then everybody sussed that and then just kind of pinged the ball over there. And Gabriel couldn't exactly cover at the time either. So <laughs> he kind of got exposed at Arsenal. But we have to keep him for one more season unless we buy another left back, which I don't think we will. Um, but say that we have Kirantini. Now, I don't think he's going to fit into this Arsenal Arsenal system anymore. So, unfortunately, it's going to be sell. I don't want to sell him. Maybe alone. But, realistically, he's just not going to come back into this Arsenal team, is he? I can't see him playing next season. So, it's going to have to be sell. Is that Sambi Lukonga, I think, as well? Sambi Lukonga. I think loan. I think loan. I think he could be decent. He could be a decent player, but he just needs a bit more experience, I think, in the in the Premier League. Obviously, he was at Palace, I think, last season. He played pretty well, but unless we keep him for like a cover, which I don't think we will, it's going to have to be loan. Now, Saliba and Gabriel keep at any cost. Them two, them two together, the partnership. Absolutely brilliant. Obviously, Saliba is a lot better, but Saliba and Gabriel together, amazing, amazing. One of the, probably the strongest centre-back pairing of the league, and Saliba it was probably the best player of the world, um, well, in defence anyway, um, the season just gone, so keep at any cost. Um, Timber... I'm just going to put keep because we didn't really get to see too much of him because obviously he was injured the majority of the game, uh, majority of the season. Uh, so we didn't really see him as much. So I, I don't think we can really put keep at all costs, but I don't want to put one more season. I want to keep him. want to see what he's doing. I um, want to see how he plays. Um, Kivior, maybe one more season. And uh, what I mean by that with Kivio is one more season to see how he progresses in and fits into this Arsenal team. Because if he can fit in quite well, then we can keep him. However, again, didn't really get as much game time as maybe he should have done to try and fit in. But saying that, the games that he has played, he played quite well. So maybe it would be keep 
if he had another season under his belt. Uh, next is Ben White, keep at all cost. Pretty much that back, that back forward, that back line is keep or give at all cost, to be honest. Um, yeah, he, he probably won the best right backs. Probably won the best right backs of the of the league, and he's actually very very underrated, I'll say, because people obviously shit on him because it's fifty million, but 50, 50 million is not a bad. I mean, look at Maguire for eighty mil, and we got Ben White for fifty, and he could play centre back or right back. If you're playing right back, he bo he bombs up. And obviously the goal against Chelsea, whoa, that goal against Chelsea was a brilliant. Obviously he meant that, by the way. He absolutely meant that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll keep him at any cost. Uh, Cedric Suarez, sell at any price. Literally just get him gone. I don't know how he's still here. I don't know how he still gets picked for the actual squad. I don't know. I don't know. But he needs to go. He needs to go, blood. He needs to go, blood. <laughs> if you know, you know. Next, Thomas Partey. I'm sorry, but sell. I'm sorry, but sell. Great pass of the ball, but he's just so clumsy on the ball. Like, literally one minute we're good, next minute, you know, the, the other team, the opposition's got it off him straight away and he's just gone and scored. Because he's just, I don't know, he's so slow. But when he pings the ball, he pings it lovely. It's just so slow with the ball. It's just like, come on, lad. Just fucking ping it already. Um, Jorginho. Keep. Maybe only for... Mm, do I do it for one more season? No. Keep him. Keep him. He's been solid. He's been solid. He did what, what? One one mishap. Um, and that was against Tottenham. Um, but other than that, he's actually been one of our strongest, strongest players. So definitely keep him. Um, Declan Rice obviously goes back to saying keep at any cost. 100 mil and he's proven that 100 mil time and time again this season. So keep him at any cost. Uh, El Nenny, he's, I'm going to put a sell at any price, but he, he's, he's, he's left anyway. His, his contract expired. Uh, Odegaard, keep at any cost. Kai Havertz, keep at any cost. Obviously. And where's Saka? Saka, keep at any cost. I do like that. I do like that. Kai Havertz coming to his own at Arsenal this season. It's coming to his own. Chelsea did not play him the way the way he should have been played. He fits in the Arsenal score so much better, and we could get more out of him than Chelsea ever had. So definitely keep at any cost. Obviously, Odegaard going without saying. What a captain, by the way. One, what a captain. Two, what a player. He's only what 23, 24, something like that. Maybe not even now, maybe only 22. And he's been brilliant. I'm so happy we got him. Because when he came on loan uh, for that season, I think it was, was it 2020 or 2021, something like that. I was like, yes, this is the play we needed. He's basically like a, it's like a regen of Ozil, but better. And he's got that leadership about him as well. So definitely keep it at any cost. And then Saka, again, goes to that saying, pretty much played every game bar one. I think on the in the in the Premier League this season, and it's he's, he's a big he's a big he's a big game player, but people don't see it because what happens is he gets doubled or sometimes tripled on, that he then can't do he can't produce those goals he can't produce the assists and obviously everybody only goes on stats and not actually watch the game, um, so in that way he didn't have a great season, but if you watch him and you watch what happens to him. He's a great player. <laughs> He's a big game player. Uh, Fabio Vieira. I'm going to have to go with loan. I think he could be good, you know. I think he could be good. Obviously, injuries didn't help in this season. But I think he just needs... One, he needs bulking up a bit. And two, he needs a bit more experience before he starts playing for Arsenal, if that makes sense. As in, he would come onto the on the bench and that's fine but he's not going to be starting games is he so he's going to need minutes same with to be honest Smith Rowe I don't want Smith Rowe to leave I don't want Smith Rowe to leave I, I absolutely love him he's a great player and I want him to be in the squad more I want him to be playing games more however we kind of got this starting 11 like um 
kind of bulletproof, I guess. And he's just not gonna, he's just not gonna get in there. He's not gonna get the minutes he needs. So I put him on loan. Keep, keep, like keep him at Arsenal, but put him on loan, so he can gain a bit more experience, gain a bit more of the ball in that. So Trossard keep and Martinelli keep them two on the left, kind of swap in, um, bring someone else to the team. Obviously Trossard um, had done brilliantly for us this season I'm glad we got him from Brighton and didn't get uh, Mudrick um, but he, he, he pulled off some goals he pulled off some clutch moments that we needed um, and I think to be honest he actually really fits in which to be honest I'm, I'm surprised at because when we got him I was like okay like he was a decent player at Brighton but really Arsenal but you know what it proved a lot of people wrong and he's actually done really well so Trossard stays. And obviously Martinelli, I would put a keep at all costs, any cost even, because I think he has he has dips of form. He's not as consistent as the players up here at keep at any cost. He's not as consistent. But again, because he played in the Premier League for so long already, people know how to play against him. Yeah, it doesn't really work, but I still keep him. Uh, is that Gabriel Jesus? Um, I don't know with this one, you know. Because with Kai Havertz playing as like a false nine, Jesus doesn't really fit in. And to be honest, he hasn't really been that great. Maybe one more season. But I don't think he's actually been that great. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I think... I don't know. Maybe sell. No. Keep one more season. One more season. And Ketia. I'm sorry. And Ketia's got to go. Ketia's got to go. Um, He had one good season. I want to say 21 to 22. Where Jesus was out injured. And he did actually play quite well. But this season. No. Um, Nelson. Reese Nelson one more season. I think one more season. It, it, again, he's kind of like Smith Rowe, where he's just not going to play, but maybe in the cups he might play as a rotation. And actually, to be fair, he comes on the bench quite a bit. But again, I don't. I think it's going to get to a point where he's going to be like, I want first team action now. I want to be actually actually on the pitch starting. So. I think one more season, then he'll probably go. Ah, uh, Marquinhos. I can say loan. I actually want to see him more. I want to see him more, but I can't see that happening to be honest. Um, maybe again in cups, but he's going to need more experience in cups. Um, yeah, I, I I think I'm actually okay with that. You know, it's a, like a perfect. Fucking pyramid there. Quite like that. Um, do I want to change any? Do I want to change any? I don't think I do. And to be honest, I think I think the only thing that's going to be said is probably Ramsdale. I'll put one more season, but he's probably going to be sold this summer anyway. But for me personally, one more season. Um, and as I say, I'm not going to do the youngsters because I don't really watch them enough to, to find out really. Uh, realistically, these are all going to be a uh, loan, aren't they? So yeah, there's no point of just having a load of loan players for all the all the youngsters. So I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. Um, let me know what you guys think below. Whether you think I'm talking absolute bollocks, or maybe you think that I'm actually being quite reasonable. Or let me know who you would keep uh, sell a loan. Um, out of these guys and hopefully Arsenal next season obviously we missed out just about on the Premier League maybe next year we could do it who knows thank you guys for watching see you next one goodbye